All right, welcome back, friends. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this perspective text on this street that is downhill, hence the text downhill. So stay tuned. All right, so for this design, I am starting off with the YouTube thumbnail. It is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm going to start off by going into elements, and I'm going to be searching for a road. And I'll go into photos. And I'm going to place this design on my workspace. And I'm going to set this image as my background. I'm now going to go into my apps section and I'm going to search for an app called Typecraft. This is what it looks like. I'm going to click it and open it up. In the text, I'm going to type in all caps down. And I'm also going to change the font selection to Anton, which is one of my favorite fonts. For the color, I'm going to change the color to a dark black. And I'm going to start this design by going into the uh, display area. And right now I have it set to no mirror. And I'm going to grab this um, circle right in the middle and I am going to drag that up a little bit and I'm then going to select the horizontal and I'm going to grab the edge here and move it and what that should do is it should move this side and this side at exactly the same time in exactly the same direction so I'm going to grab those and I'm just going to move them over to the side and try and even out um, the selector points. I'm now going to just squeeze these ones here over to the middle because I want the top to be narrow. So I'm just going to continue to try and make it as narrow as possible and at the same time just trying to keep it straight, which might be difficult at times. but. As I mentioned, it, you might have to try this over and over and over again. For now, I'm going to place this on my workspace to see how it looks. So I'm going to click on this purple button called Add Element to Design. So here it is right here. And I'm just going to make it larger just to see how it's fitting in my design. Now I need to bring it down and I need to make the bottom more wide, but try and keep the top a little bit, a, a smidgen more narrow. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to just try once again to grab these circular selectors and just nudge them in. And I'm going to do the same thing with the outer ones like that. And I'm going to update my design again. Before I do that, I'm actually going to change the color to white. All right, so I'm come back down here and I'm going to update the element again. So here is that element again and we can see we still do need to uh, work at it so i'm going to give it one more go here we go so don't panic if it does take you a little bit of time to get it perfect and i'm now going to just click outside and what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab some grunge in my elements section I'll go to graphics and I'm going to grab some of this and just place it on my words. And I'm going to make it the color of the street. So I'm going to go into custom, add color, grab my eyedropper, and I'm just going to change it the color like that. And 
I'll just place it. on my workspace in various different directions, just to make it that look a little bit more natural like this. And you can play around with that to make it your own design. You can make them, those grunge marks, bigger, smaller, what have you. Now I'm going to come back into elements and I'm going to search for a man walking alone. And I'll go into photos and I'm going to place this photo on my workspace. I'm going to remove the background. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can always go to the to the app section and look for the background, the free background removers in there, or you can use Remove BG. But I'm going to go ahead and use the background remover and I'm going to crop uh, him just a tiny bit and place him on my road like that and just try and resize them so that it looks a little bit more natural. And I'm also going to add some fog down in the bottom of that hill. So I'm going to grab some fog like this. I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. Now, um, that might look like fog. It might look like some clouds. Um, but I'm just going to put that down in the bottom of that hill. So I'll go to position layers and I'm going to move that all behind the man down at the bottom of the hill. And maybe I might make that a little bit larger and I'll turn down the transparency a little bit like that. And finally, I'm going to add a little bit of a overlay in here. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to come into my uh, elements area in the search and I'm going to search for sun rays. And I'll go on to graphics and I'm going to place this on my workspace and I'll put it in behind the man who's walking. So I'll go to position and layers and I'm going to move that just behind the man like that. And that's about it. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments and if there's anything else that you want to see, um, also place that in the comments. If you learned anything in this tutorial, press that like button, press subscribe and turn that notification bell on. That way you know when new content is coming out. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every single week and teach my adult learners what they want to know. So for now, I'll say bye bye until next time.